Tiffany Manger here. And this time I just have a little card that I'm going to do. No techniques or anything really special. Just a little card I came up with. I saw it on Pinterest a couple months ago. And then I kind of tweaked it around to do my own thing a little bit with it. So I just decided I'm just going to do a card this time. And I used a couple different stamp sets for it. And as you can see, it's two little kitty cats standing along a little brick wall. And it's not very hard to do. So first off, you're going to need your base. I have Peekaboo Peach 8.5 by 5.5. I scored it at 4 and a quarter already. Take my bone folder and fold it. There we go. I didn't stamp any sentiment in it. You can do whatever you want in it. So we're going to put this guy aside. Then I have, just for an outer piece, just for a border, I have this in Smoky Slate. This is um, 4 by 5.5. So I'm just going to set that aside right now. I got two pieces here. One in Soft Sky, one in Smoky Slate. I believe they are both the same size. And they are... I made them, and it looks like I did them, at 1 and 7 eighths by 5. So 1 and 7 eighths by 5, both of them here. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Smoky Slate one first. Because we need, once we need this, we stamp this, we got to let this dry. So what I'm going to do is, I've got chocolate chip, and I've got the stamp set here, Live, Love, Grow, which is going to be retiring soon. And I'm just going to take the little pebble stamp here, and I'm going to ink it up with the chocolate chip. And I just want to do like some little pebbles along the ground here. Whoops, he did not work out, so let me flip him over and try again. Alright, I just want to do some little pebbles along the ground. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. And we'll stamp that there. There we go. Okay. And then, um, I'm going to set the chocolate chip aside. With always artichoke. I'm going to get that out here. Oh, and I just stamped it. Oh, excuse me for a minute. I just dropped it. There we go. All right. I'm going to take Live, Love, Grow again. I'm going to take this little plant right here. And I'm going to ink him up. And we're just going to stamp him randomly on some spots. I'm going to do like two over here on top of each other. Just kind of look like weeds growing. And then we're going to put one right there. Okay. I'm going to set this aside. It needs to dry. We're done with Ollie's artichoke. We can put him away. Okay, let me put that stamp aside. All right, we're going to get our blue piece, soft sky piece out here. And I pulled out the good old classic, lovely as a tree. If you don't have this stamp set, you're looking at it thinking, what am I going to do with it? You can do a lot of pretty stuff with it. Christmas, fall, masculine cards. We're going to use the um, bear trees here. And I brought back chocolate chip. We're going to ink this guy up here. Make sure I got him nice and inked up. Because I see my center isn't inked. Okay. That one center tree does not want to ink up. Okay, good enough. So this is just going to be like a background. Alright. Um... I'm just going to stamp it right here along the edge, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to ink up this little spot here. Because I want to have it full of a tree background. There we go. Okay, we're done with chocolate chip. We're done stamping, actually, right now. So, this is my background. And this should be dry. So I'm going to take the brick... Um, the brick wall embossing folder and I'm gonna put this in here because we want to make this kind of look like cinder blocks and let me get this lined up here I'm gonna run it through the big shot excuse me okay folder my folders moving over all right hold on my big shot is giving me problems. There we go. My folder didn't want to straighten through. Alright. 
So there is that. And this is why I said you want to stamp it first because um, you wouldn't be able to get into these creases if you stamped. So as you can see, here we go. Here is my embossed image. So now we're just going to put it on. some adhesive and I just put it enough so there's just a little bit of a border around on each end as you can see right here alrighty and it looks like I had some ink somewhere I must have had some ink that wasn't dried yet because I got him a little smeared that's okay because bricks are supposed to be dirty looking unless they're brand new so I'm going to take my soft sky piece here and I'm just going to line this right along the top of this one like so. So there we go. There's our background piece as you can see and it kind of looks flawless. So we're going to put this piece all completely on the back. I see I have, it looks like I had a very inky spot right here. That's where it's getting at. All right, so make sure our, fold, our card is closing up the correct way. So we're just going to put this one here. All right, there we go. So there's our background piece. And I went and took the set Pretty Kitty here. And I took these little two kitty cats here. I stamped them. I colored them. I cut them out. And I took the You Make Me Happy I stamped it on some soft sky scrap and I punched it out with our little label punch here. So I did these already. Here are my little kitty cats. I already stamped them, colored in them. And you gotta hand cut them. Sorry, we don't have a die for that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use our um, dimensionals. Excuse me, I lost my train of thought right there. Okay, and I'm gonna take another dimensional. I'm gonna cut them in half to use on for the bodies of the kitty cats okay and let me get a dimensional for the uh, sentiment here put that on that there that there I, these guys see the new catalog coming. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. I don't even have the new catalog yet. I only got to see it online. <laughs> I haven't gotten to do my pre-order me um, tight budget, so I gotta pick and choose and have to wait. Can't get everything. So we're gonna put this little kitty cat up top here. So he looks like he's walking along the brick building, the brick wall. He's coming over to say hello to this little kitty cat here, little white cat. These little cat drawings, they remind me of, um, remember the Aristocats movie, the Disney movie, the Aristocats? They remind me of the little kittens there, so I just think they're too cute. I love animals, so anything with animals I'd, lo I'd love to do, especially cats and dogs. So, okay, now I'm going to put my sentiment see if I can get my little piece off. My goodness. I didn't think this would take the whole thing. There we go. So we're just going to put him right in the middle. Like so. You could put it anywhere you want. And voila. We're done. Easy peasy. Quick card. There you go. Isn't that adorable? So I just got some depth to it. So it stands up a little bit. So there we go. I have that one and my little prototype here. I used a few little different colors for stamps and whatnot. So if you like what you've seen, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I try to do at least one new video a week um, to learn more about Stampin' Up! To order any other products you've seen here, you can check out my website, www.tiffanymanger.stampinup.net. You can also ask any questions down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Or you can check out my Facebook page, Tiffany Manger Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you come back again and have a nice day.